friends this is an picture welcome to my mathematics class today's topic is permutation of object not all different on this topic there is a one theorem i'm going to explain this theorem and thereafter i will tell you how to use to evaluate the permutations of objects not all different okay that theorem so in which case we can use this theorem also i will explain okay let's see the statement the number of arrangements of n things we have n things okay taken all at a time we are going to take all at a time of uh, p things are alike okay see i concentrate this line p things are alike just like uh, let me uh, tell you here a p p l e here okay alike okay these things are alike and um, and of one kind q things are alike okay again if suppose okay we have a word okay apple then here okay these two are also like objects okay q be the number of like objects uh like objects and another <coughs> another kind are things are like of yet another kind and the remaining things are different is given by n factorial upon p factorial times q factorial times r factorial if we have a one more like objects okay then we can write down here s if we write, okay if we denote uh, by s then we can write down here s factorial okay if we have only two then we can write down n factorial upon p factorial times q factorial if we have only one then we may write down n factorial upon p factorial if we have a three Uh, just like this statement, n factorial over p factorial into q factorial into r factorial, we can write down. So I think clear about the statement. So here you can read, and I am going to explain them. Yeah, let the total number of permutations. Permutation means different arrangement. All right. Let the total number of different arrangements. Okay, different arrangements be x. Okay, I have supposed. Okay, required. arrangements b x this means okay we have to find out x okay and p alike of things be made different with example i am going to explain and from each other and from the rest okay all right so here if i write here apple only okay so here okay p things yes p alike things be made okay different from each other and from rest means okay from rest of the Uh, here objects and then p things can be if we suppose we different then p things can be arranged among themselves in p factorial ways uh, suppose okay we have okay p p two objects two alike objects okay then two factorial ways we can arrange themselves if we have three then we can arrange them on uh, themselves in uh, three factorial ways if we have uh, four alike objects okay uh, then four Now objects can be arranged okay in four factorial by using this condition all right mm, okay here okay then since one arrangement give rise to p factorial ways i'll explain okay that thing one arrangement give rise to p factorial there are required x arrangement so x arrangements will give rise to x times p factorial ways using this concept okay similarly we can write down okay uh, if we replace okay q like things into different things or uh, which can be arranged in q factorial so therefore number of ways yet yeah, number of okay arrangements is equal to x times p factorial times q factorial and proceeding like this replacing a similar things into different things and the total number of arrangements will be this one right this will be the total number of arrangements okay total number of arrangements of n objects all right so now let's move in another way if all things being different if all things being different can be arranged in n factorial in earlier theorem i have explained uh, all things okay if there are okay n things and if you suppose okay all n things are different then n things can be arranged in n factorial ways p of n comma n ways means okay n p n means n factorial ways all right so these these arrangements are also um, of uh, n objects and uh, uh, 
uh, n factor is also arrangement of n objects okay and uh, so both represents the same number right that's why both represent the same number that's why i have written here from 1 and 2 uh, this equal to this right and from here we can get okay x is equal to n factorial over p factorial times q factorial times r factorial this is the required permutation this is the required different arrangements of n objects in which all objects are not different okay in which some objects are like okay right now with one example i'm going to explain i will take so if you want to copy you can pause the video and you can copy Uh, look at here, I'm taking, okay, A, P, P, L, E, okay, uh, here, the one example I'm taking, for explanation, uh, because uh, here, two P, P, alike objects, you can say alike things, okay, alike objects, okay, here, if we use okay, if you think okay, if we can use this formula n factorial, then there are one, two, three, four, five. How many? Five objects. If we suppose okay, these all are different, or uh, five or uh, five different objects. If we suppose okay, if we suppose okay, or uh, suppose five different objects, then we can find out number of arrangements. Number of arrangements, how many we can support? We can find out, okay, n factorial means five different objects, then five factorial. But these are not actually, okay, different objects, right? Here, okay, PP, okay, see, uh, in five factorial means 120, okay, 120 ways. So you will find out, okay, one in 120 ways, you can arrange, okay, A, P, P, L, E. If you suppose, okay, P, P are also different objects, right? Uh, okay, actually what happens, okay, you can get, okay, uh, 120 arrangement, but you may get, okay, A, P, P, L, E, again, okay, A, P, P, L, E, you can get, right, so I think, okay, uh, you will be surprised, okay, how we can get next, okay, A, P, P, L, E, uh, let's suppose, okay, this may go here, and this may go this side, right, during the process of arrangement, okay, this P may go this side, and this P may go this side, okay, when they interchange, okay, in simple way, when they interchange their places, okay, again, okay, same you will get, okay, P, P, so, all right, uh, so these two, these two are, okay, here also apple, here also apple, okay, same, okay, but during the year process of arrangements, if you use, okay, this formula, you may get, okay, A, P, P, L, E, A, P, P, L, E, right, here, okay, both are not, okay, uh, different arrangements, okay, both are same arrangement, all right, and again, okay, uh, if, okay, P, P, A, L, E, you may get another one also, P, P, okay, right, if this P okay goes this side and this P okay goes this side, if they interchange okay, then also you can get okay A L E. We don't know okay how many there are, right? Different arrangements, okay. We can suppose there are X arrangements, right? There are X different arrangements. Different arrangements. There are X different arrangements we can suppose, right? Just like okay, this is your actually this is a one arrangement. Different, one different arrangement. Actually, this is your only one arrangement. Only one arrangement. Okay? This is your only one arrangement. Not, okay, different arrangement. Right? This is your only one arrangement. And this is also, okay, only one arrangement. So, total how many here? Okay, two arrangements. So, now look at here, okay. <coughs> if we suppose, okay, here, uh, P1, P2, right? Let's suppose, okay, this one is P1, uh, P2. Here, again, next, okay. Uh, in next diagram, let me make okay. Now, uh, if we suppose here, okay, uh, let me write okay here a p p l e. And uh, if you suppose here p1 p2, if we suppose okay, uh, different uh, different objects as we have proved okay, theorem. If we suppose okay, different objects, then you if they interchange okay, p p here okay, 
if if they interchange their places then uh, then uh, we can get okay p2 uh, p1 and a now here okay we can say okay these two are definitely okay and if they are different okay then okay here uh, two factorial and the two p1 p2 okay can interchange their okay or uh, ways okay in two factorial ways they can interchange their two factorial ways and we can get okay uh, two arrangements okay how many arrangements we are getting here two arrangements okay now look at here if x x is different array like okay this is a different arrangement only one different arrangement this is a different arrangement simply this is a one arrangement this is a different arrangement right x right x okay such type of arrangements okay let's suppose x different arrangements right but here we are getting okay right one arrangement two arrangement right means okay uh two if we suppose okay p1 p2 we can get different okay but uh here if we suppose okay here if you use okay this formula we can get this way also this formula is going to count okay one two three four like this way right this is okay this formula cannot provide you different arrangements all right so we have to find out the formula to find out the different arrangement in this case all right now look at here if you see here one single arrangement okay right one single arrangement if we suppose okay p1 p2 actually here okay a p p l a we are supposed to be different then okay apple provides you two different arrangements right because here two same so two okay uh, like objects okay which can be arranged in two factorial ways so now okay we can say okay and uh, two fact two are uh, two objects two like objects if we suppose different can be arranged in two factorial ways right among themselves we can if we suppose different among themselves as well as from the rest then uh, these two like objects can be object if we suppose different can be arranged in two factorial ways and there are x different arrangement and then total number of arrangement okay will be x times 2 factorial all right x times 2 factorial because x okay different arrangements and 2 factorial means okay two ways okay huh? they can be arranged in two factorial ways uh, there are only okay two like objects so that's why x times 2 factorial this will be your total number of arrangements if we suppose okay here all p p different arrangements right and uh, now this will give you also okay total number of arrangements as this formula gives you the total number of different arrangements now let's okay uh, both are okay same now x times 2 factorial is equal to 5 factorial and you are going to get here x is equal to 5 factorial upon 2 factorial let's suppose okay 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial upon here 2 factorial and you <coughs> 2 2 factorial cancels 5 for the 20 60 60 arrangements will get okay 60 arrangements will be quietly different arrangements right the permutation what will be your actual permutations 60 okay now now if you replace okay 5 by n and n factorial and 2 okay p factorial and similarly okay, if we suppose okay more q factorial or uh, r factorial and then we can use this formula all right clear uh, understood i think okay now right uh, so if we replace okay let me explain again okay if we suppose okay if we suppose if we replace okay 5 by n okay 5 by n okay then we will get okay uh, okay then we will get okay 5 factorial oh, sorry okay n factorial and if we replace 2 by p okay p factorial if we have a more then we can write down here okay q factorial so all things will come in denominator r factorial s factorial and so on okay this formula will be effective to find out the actual number of different arrangements all right so now in which case we can use this formula now i think you understood okay if we have okay uh, like objects right uh, in n objects okay if we find out okay some are like objects then we can use okay this formula all right okay now i'll tell you uh, i'll explain okay with one example okay one more example i will take how to use okay, this formula to find out the number of permutations one very simple example i'm going to give you okay i've taken one example uh, in how many ways uh, in how many ways uh, can the letters of the following word arranged here okay i have written okay letter this is uh, mississippi mississippi here all objects are not different okay 
ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर नॉट डिफरेंट ओके ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर नॉट डिफरेंट ओके ऑल राइट सो व्हिच वन फार्मूला वी हैव टू यूज टू फाइंड आउट द नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट अरेंजमेंट दिस वन फार्मूला एन फैक्टोरियल अपॉन p factorial q factorial r factorial if you need okay s factorial also you can write down okay very simple so first of all you have to count okay how many letters are there okay in word mississippi there are 1 2 okay and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so you can see okay n is equal to how many we have uh, 11 letters right there are 11 letters now okay Like objects, let's count. Okay, here you are getting okay two s and here also two s. Right? In word Mississippi, s occurs in four times. Okay, let's suppose okay p and four, right? So p I have okay uh, written number of uh, letters s. Okay, p by p, right? Number of letters s because in Mississippi s occurs in four times, right? And now next one, you can see I. One, two, three, four. Here also, let's suppose okay Q number of letters I Q and uh, this I also occurs in four times. And now remaining okay P here P and P Q R. Let's suppose okay or uh, two P occurs here two times, right? And then okay, then remaining only M, M or M it occurs each right M, okay no M is remaining letter is M M okay occurs only once right now we can find out okay total number of uh, arrangements what will be your total number of arrangements your total number of arrangements right. Total number of arrangements formula is uh, n factorial upon p factorial, q factorial, r factorial is equal to 11 factorial upon 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial. All right. In so far, I've written here 11 factorial. All right. Okay. So now you understood. I think. Or uh, this is the answer of okay. So you can calculate okay, eleven factorial upon four factorial into four factorial into two factorial. This will be the total number of arrangements of the letters of Mississippi. Okay, so so uh, so easy, not so difficult. You can use okay this formula if you have all objects are not different. Okay. So if you have a problem, you can write down in comment box. Uh, if you are new come up, please subscribe. If you think okay. this is okay beneficial to you and your friends uh, you can subscribe and share thank you for watching bye bye